Hello and welcome to RetroBreeze. Here's my guide for modifying the GameMax A380 system files to make the controls work in RetroArch. Unfortunately, I actually messed up my A380 in an unrelated incident, so this video will not be up to the usual quality of my other tutorials. However, I did capture everything in a rough video format before the accident, so you can still see how to do it here. Note that we are modifying system files, so be 100% certain to follow these instructions directly. Don't mess around with these commands or you risk breaking your A380. Do everything exactly as I say in this video. Also, I'm not responsible for any damage that could happen to your A380 should something go wrong here. Alright, let's get to it. Oh, one more note. With this new key layout installed, you'll no longer be able to use the GameMax launcher. It will no longer respond to your controls at all. I personally don't see this as a loss, especially given that you'll have RetroArch going instead. Just make sure that you're in the Android launcher and not the GameMax launcher before you proceed. In order to fix the input issues, we need to copy a new keymap file, vendor underscore 001 underscore product underscore 0001.kl into the system user key layout folder. I wish it were as simple as a drag and drop operation, but there's a little bit more work involved than that, unfortunately. If you want to understand exactly what we did in this video and why it works, let me know in the comments below and I might do a quick follow-up video with an explanation. To help with everything, I've created an archive with a collection of tools that you can download from GitLab. Browse to the archive, then click the download icon, then zip. Extract the folder, then open it up. The first thing we need to do is enable USB debugging, then use the Android debug bridge command line to copy the files over. Don't worry, it's not as bad as it sounds. The condensed steps for this process are in the steps.txt file if you want to take a look. Anyway, first open the Rockchip driver assistant folder, then open the driver install.exe program. Click install driver and accept any prompts or warnings that come up. You'll probably get a couple. Trust me, it's fine. Close the program when it's done. This program just installs ADB and Fastboot USB drivers for the A380. By the way, if you have an issue installing these drivers or it just doesn't work, you'll probably need to disable driver signature reinforcement on your PC, at least temporarily. I'm not going to cover how to do that in this video, just google it, driver signature enforcement. Okay, now copy the developer options shortcut.apk file onto your A380, then use the APK manager to install it. Open the new developer options app. All this does is jump you directly into the device's developer options menu, which is otherwise inaccessible. Scroll down until you see USB debugging, then enable it. Press OK when prompted. Insert a USB cable attached to your computer and you'll see a prompt asking if you'd like to allow USB debugging. Check the always trust box, then hit OK. Back on your PC, open the minimal ADB and fastboot folder. Inside you'll see the .kl folder, along with a handful of other files. Double click the command-here.exe file and a terminal window will open. Type ADB devices and hit enter. You should see a number like this followed by device. If you don't, start by rebooting your PC and try again in case of any driver installation issues. Alright, as long as your device shows up using ADB devices, we're ready to copy over the new key layout file. This is a point of no return. Make sure you are in the Android launcher and not the GameMax launcher before continuing. Type ADB root, then hit enter. Wait a moment and then when a new prompt appears, you're ready to move on. Oh yeah, the A380 is rooted by default, meaning we easily get access to the system partition. If it wasn't rooted, this whole thing would have been impossible. Type ADB remount system and hit enter. It'll say remount succeeded. Here's the big one. Type ADB push vendor underscore 0001 underscore product underscore 0001 dot kl space forward slash system forward slash user forward slash key layout forward slash vendor underscore 0001 underscore product underscore 0001 dot kl enter. Note that you can type ve then press tab to auto complete the file name. Also make sure that user is usr not user. Be sure that your spacing is correct. You can copy and paste this command from steps.txt file if you prefer. Alright, we're about done. Type ADB reboot and your device will reboot. Now you can install the Gamepad Tester APK if you want to test that the inputs are working properly, or you can just grab the latest retroarch.apk from the website and try it out. The controller should be detected as WM underscore keyboard, although sometimes it says generic gamepad for some reason. Now you can go through retroarch and remap your controls to your heart's content. You should find that everything works like any other device. Alright, that's it. All the potential of RetroArch unlocked on the Game Max A380. As far as I can tell, this is the first time ever that this has been possible. I'll probably do a follow-up review of the A380 after I fix mine and see what performance I can get with RetroArch, and to show any particular settings I use to get the most out of it. Until then, thanks very much for watching my video. 
If you enjoy my content, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, please be sure to check out Mikey's Instagram and YouTube channel using the links in the description box below as well. None of this would have been possible without him. Thank you very much for watching Retro Breeze, and enjoy your RetroArch capable GameMax A380.